if f dash x is equal to minus sin 4x, f double dash is minus sin 4x derivative cos 4x into 4. What is f double dash pi by 4? At the critical point, let us find out second derivative sign. So, minus 4 cos 4 into x is pi by 4. If you substitute, you will get cos pi minus 1 minus of minus plus, that means positive. f double dash is positive. If f double dash is positive means uh, the fx has minimum at that point. So, that x is equal to pi by 4, uh, there exists minimum or x is equal to pi by 4 is called point of local minimum. If x is equal to pi by 4 is point of local minimum, what is local minimum? Substitute x is equal to pi by 4 in the given function f x is equal to sin power 4 plus cos power 4. If I substitute, I will get 1 by root 2 whole power 4 plus 1 by root 2 whole power 4 because sin pi by 4 is 1 by root 2 and if you simplify, you will get 1 by 2. That means, for this function, only local minimum exists, there is no question of maximum. Now, we will give the conclusion, therefore, minimum is equal to 1 by 2. So, only minimum exists for this function, that is nothing but 1 by 2. Here, local minimum is nothing but minimum. Okay, students, now we will solve maximum minimum questions on word problems. Generally, you will be asked one question uh, in 6 marks question. So, sure short question, please be familiar with at least 15 to 20 questions, so that uh, you will be comfortable in examination also. And also, it is a very important concept in real life situations also, very, very important. Uh, let us see a question. A square piece of tin of side 18 centimeters is to be made into a box without top by cutting a square from each corner and folding up the flaps to form a box. What should be the side of the square to be cut off, so that the volume of the box is maximum as possible. That means, a square tin sheet is taken like this and each corner a square is cut off. The total length of this side of the square is 18 and each corner a square is cut off of some side and the flaps are folded like this and the flaps are folded like this and it is made into a box. You can see a box. Now, Easily you can see what is the length of the box. The length of the box is 18. The breadth of the box is also 18. What is the height of the box? Height of the box is x. So, that is what I am going to write here. See here. So, this is the square tin sheet. At each corner, a square of each side x is cut off, removed, and by folding the flaps, a box is prepared. Find the volume of the box so that the volume of the box is maximum. Is it not? So, length of the uh, side of the square is given as 18 centimeters. Now, tell me what is given first given side of the square tin sheet is equal to 18 centimeters. Let side of the square to be cut off is equal to x. Let the side of the square side of the square to be cut off is equal to x centimeters or x units. If each corner side square x is cut off, then what is the length of the box? The box so formed, what is the length of the box is 18 minus 2 x. What is the breadth of the box is again 18 minus 2 x. What is the height of the box is nothing but x. So, what is the volume of the box? So, volume of the box is equal to V is equal to LBH that is nothing but 18 minus 2 x into a whole square into x. Can I write directly 18 minus 2 x whole square into x? Because length is 18 minus 2 x, breadth is also 18 minus 2 x and the height is x. Therefore, 18 minus 2 x whole square into x. Now, this is our function. We have to maximize at what x? this volume is maximized. That is what we have to find out. Our task is, what is the side of the square to be cut off, so that the volume of the box is to be maximized. So, our task is, we have to maximize this function in terms of x, uh, at what x this v is maximum. To find at what x this v is maximum, just please remember, we are maximizing this function v in terms of x, v v dash, v dash is equal to 0. If you equate v dash is equal to 0, you will get critical points and you have to find v double dash at that critical point. 
using that v double dash positive negative you can find the maximum or minimum value. So, we need derivative of this function let us find out v dash you can use directly u into v or you can expand and you can apply uh, the derivative. I will find directly first function into derivative of second function 1 this is dot plus second function into derivative of first function what is the derivative of 18 minus 2 x whole square 2 into 18 minus 2 x power 1 into minus 2 be remember minus 2 also will come. If I take 18 minus 2 x as common 18 minus 2 x then here the remaining is 18 minus 2 x and here minus 4 x further if you simplify you will get v dash is equal to 18 minus 2 x into 18 minus 6 x. Now, for local maxima and local minima or simply maxima or minima, we equate the derivative is equal to 0 or simply v dash is equal to 0 you can say v dash is equal to 0 that is 18 minus 2 x is equal to 0 or 18 minus 6 x is equal to 0. If you equate 18 minus 2 x is equal to 0, you will get 2 x is equal to 18 x is equal to 9. Now, tell me is it possible x is equal to 9? If x is equal to 9, this 9 plus this 9 total will be 18 and this entire uh, paper will be used though works cannot be formed. So, therefore, this value can be rejected because if you take x is equal to 9, works cannot be prepared. Now, let us come to second case this 6 x is equal to 18 x is equal to 3. So, x may be 3 even then we will verify whether at x is equal to 3 volume is maximum or not. So, for that we will find second derivative v double dash that is equal to this is first derivative second derivative is again I will apply u into v formula 18 minus 2 x first function derivative of second function plus second function derivative of first function minus 2. Now, what is second derivative at the critical point 3? The second derivative at critical point 3 is 6 into 3 18 this term will become 0 and clearly this will be negative. See here v double dash 3 see positive into negative is equal to negative we do not want value we want only sign how is v double dash at critical point v double dash at critical point is negative therefore at x is equal to 3 volume is that means volume of the box is maximum. So, therefore, what is this x? This x is nothing but side of the square to be cut off at each corner so that the volume of the box is maximum. Now, let us give the conclusion. Therefore, side of the square to be cut off to be cut off at the corner is equal to x is equal to 3 centimeter. So, in this way we can find uh, the values we can maximize and minimize functions in real life situations. Students, let us solve one more question in word problems maxima minima. I have written one more second question. Show that the right circular cylinder of given surface and maximum volume is such that its height is equal to diameter of the base. That means, with a given surface, volume of the cylinder will be maximum if height is equal to diameter of the base. So, I have drawn a cylinder figure here. Let r be the radius of the cylinder and height be the h be the height of the cylinder. What is the formula to find surface area of the cylinder? Surface area will give a symbol capital A is equal to 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r square. You must remember one thing. Sometimes the same question can be given with open cylinder also. Here nothing is mentioned means here it is closed cylinder. The same question can be asked with respect to open cylinder also. If open cylinder is given, we take this as pi r square, simply pi r square. The formula will be changing that we will discuss later. So, if surface area is this, generally we write function in terms of one variable. Therefore, I am writing h in terms of r. So, from this equation, we can write h is equal to a minus 2 pi r square by 2 pi r. If you further simplify, you will get h is equal to a by 2 pi r minus r. After finding the h in terms of r, let us find volume of the cylinder. What is the volume of the cylinder? Pi r square h. Substitute all the values here. That is volume of the cylinder v is equal to pi r square and h can be written as a by 2 pi r minus r. Simplify further. If you multiply this with 
pi r square, you will get r by 2 minus pi r cube. For maximum minima, we need derivative. Therefore, let us find v dash. As I said earlier also, if the function v is in terms of r, for local maxima or minim maximum minima, we find v, v dash is equal to 0, critical point and v double dash at critical point. So, like these steps, you have to be familiar. So, let us find v dash, v dash with respect to r is a by 2 minus pi 3 r square. So, this is v dash for maximum minima or minima, v dash is equal to 0, that means capital A by 2 minus pi 3 r square is equal to 0, that is 3 pi r square is equal to a by 2 r square is equal to a by 6 pi r is equal to root of a by 6 pi. So, we got r as root of a by 6 pi. Let us find out v double dash because for local maxima minima or maxima minima, we need second derivative also. If this is v dash, tell me what is v double dash? This a by 2 is constant, this will become deriv derivative 0, second derivative and this is nothing but minus pi into 3 r t r square derivative is 2 r. So, overall this can be minus 6 pi r, that is it is a negative. So, what is this v double dash at the critical point root of a by 6 pi? Uh, trivially, clearly, if you substitute r as this, it is negative, you can write directly negative. That means, when r is equal to, when r is equal to, otherwise at r is equal to root of a by 6 pi, volume is maximum. Now, at r is equal to root of a by 6 pi, volume is maximum. If r is so and so, what is height? Let us substitute. Therefore, h is equal to a by 2 pi r, r is root of a by 6 pi minus r minus root of a by 6 pi. If you simplify this, you will get is nothing but 2 times of root of a by 6 pi. I am leaving you for simplification. Easily, if you simplify this, you will get capital H is equal to 2 into root of a by 6 pi. That means, H is equal to 2 times of radius. That is, H is equal to diameter of the base. Diameter of the base. That means, if the volume of the cylinder is maximum, then H is equal to 2 R. Otherwise, if h is equal to 2 r, volume of the cylinder is maximum. In this way, we can prove. And a small note here is, here the cylinder is given as closed cylinder. If the cylinder is given as open cylinder, I am writing here. If open cylinder is given, then you will be writing capital A is equal to 2 pi r h plus pi r square. In this case, the height of the cylinder will be simply radius. So, this note you must understand so that the for same question you will get a uh, answer as h is equal to r that means if the open cylinder is given uh, then the maximum volume will be uh, when height is equal to radius so with one solution you can understand uh, three questions uh, two questions now let us solve one more very important question see the question show that the semi vertical angle of the cone of the maximum volume and of given slant height is tan inverse root 2. That means, a cone is given with a semi vertical angle theta. I have assumed theta is semi vertical angle and a given slant height. That means, slant height is fixed. What we have to find out? That means, volume is maximum when slant height, uh, sorry, when semi vertical angle is tan inverse root 2. Let r be the radius of the cone, radius of the cone height is equal to h, slant height is equal to L. Let theta be the semi vertical angle, semi vertical angle. Now, let us see what is the volume of the cone. Before that, tell me what is the Pythagoras result from this L square is equal to h square plus r square l square is equal to h square plus r square. Now, what is the volume of the cone? Volume of the cone is equal to v is equal to 1 by 3 
pi r square h good that is volume of the cone v is equal to 1 by 3 pi r square can be written as i will use this that is l square minus h square into h if you simplify this can be written as pi by 3 l square h minus h cube that means i have written function in terms of one variable that is h and you would ask sir what is about, what about this it will work as a constant because l is given as slant height fixed now for first let us find v dash v dash is equal to pi by 3 l square because h derivative is 1 that means i am differentiating with respect to variable h minus 3 h square for maxima minima let us equate derivative v dash is equal to 0 if we equate v dash is equal to 0 pi by 3 l square minus 3 h square is equal to 0 l square is equal to 3 h square l square is equal to 3 h square and h is equal to l by root 3 now let us find second derivative v double dash so if v, v dash is equal to this v double dash is equal to pi by 3 into l square derivative will be 0 and the derivative of 3 h square is 6 h that is minus 6 h. So, this will be 0. So, is pi by 3 minus 6 h. What is this v double dash at h is l by root 3? v double dash at l by root 3 is also negative very trivial. Therefore, v double dash at l by root 3 is negative that means when h is equal to when h is equal to l by root 3 volume of the cone is maximum volume of the cone is maximum so if the volume of the cone is maximum we have l square is equal to 3 h square in the same way we have l square is equal to h square plus r square if you substitute here 3 h square is equal to h square plus r square that is 2 h square is equal to r square if you consider r square by h square is equal to 2 r by h is equal to root 2. So, what is the r by h from the triangle? r by h is nothing but tan theta because theta is the semi vertical angle. So, this r by h is nothing but tan theta. So, tan theta is equal to root 2 and theta is equal to tan inverse root 2. So, what is the meaning of this? If tan theta is equal to root 2, volume of the cone is maximum. So, volume of the cone is maximum if the semi vertical angle is tan inverse root 2. So, in this way, we can prove. So, I have seen some word questions in maximum minima, these are all not sufficient, at least you must be familiar with 15.